Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Olivier Lehmann, uh, president of INT. Thank so ba basically, yeah, so uh, INT has been involved in OSDU since really the uh, early days, and we've really helped, you know, with the testing of the OSDU platform, the conversion to the CRS uh, uh, conversion package. Um, the, the currently, we, we're helping and uh, validating uh, the, this uh, CRS conversion uh, with, the, with the gigs uh, gigs testing suite, and we pretty much support. I mean, all the all the all the cloud vendors, I guess, uh, implementation of uh, OSDU. So what what we um, are trying to provide uh, with IVAP is uh, is a tool that will really uh, you know support all the exploration data, reservoir drilling, production, uh, CCUS, and more you know, that that will uh, come through the uh, through through the OSDU consortium. So we see our platform as a really you know good tool to, in terms of data exploration validation qc um and uh, and here what, what i'm going to show you is a bit of the functionality but we're going to also uh, talk a little bit about uh, the, the ability for five app to uh, integrate with the uh, external machine learning workflow so so uh, int as, as a company we, we we're not really uh, you know de developing uh, um, uh, very sophisticated uh, machine learning um, 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 algorithm, but but we we want a platform. I mean, to you know, for people that have a very unique algorithm, to be able to connect them uh, to to um, to IVAP and and leverage you know all the data selection, the the, the uh, data la la labeling and the visualization, of course. So so that, that that's what I'm going to show today. Um, okay, so uh, okay, so ju just uh, uh, v very quick, uh, uh, you know, uh, graphic uh, representation of some of the uh, some of the capability of the you know in terms of the well display, the well correlation, the, the uh, core image, uh, stratigraphy, three uh, D reservoir production, and and so forth. So we. You know, we we do have the visualization for you know pretty much everything that is currently and will be uh, in, in the OSDU uh, uh, platform. So a little bit of architecture because IVAP you know can connect to more than OSDU and and we don't make any copies of the data. I mean, we are you know we have this backend that you see on the on the right side at the bottom and it's just a bunch of micro services with the various data connectors uh, we also do support real time and uh, you know in terms of data source so you know ju just some of the standard database like ppdm uh, uh, prosource open works uh, we even support you know things like snowflake of course or the sql type of database and so on and of, and of course, we also support file format like SegWi, OpenVGS, OpenZGY, LastDelist, and so forth. So, so very, um, very complete platform. And of course, you know, the, the, the IVAP client, so the visualization is connecting through, through, through the backend uh, using, uh, you know, REST API, WebSocket, messaging, and stuff like that. So, so that, that's a little bit the architecture of the platform. And also, one thing that I'd like to, uh, it's kind of important, so IVAP is a client application, but it's also, it's also an SDK. So if you want to, uh, you know, pick up some, uh, some visualization uh, um, uh, or dashboards, uh, and you, ha you have developed your application with Angular or uh, React or something, you can, you can uh, just uh, in integrate the components and, uh, and uh, plug it in into OSDU or other environments. Uh, so, so again, for the live demo, so uh, I'm just going to show a, a very uh, simple uh, pre prediction of myth, um, missing uh, log curves. So we're using, uh, we're using a TensorFlow deep uh, neural network. So I'm going to 
show ability to search, explore the OSDU, uh, QC the data, build the prediction, um, uh, run the, uh, I mean, build a model using the prediction and then r run the model and QC the result. So, uh, and, uh, and yeah, we are writing back into OSDU uh, using the uh, Wellbore DDMS. So, so let me switch, um, let me switch uh, uh, screen here. Okay. Right, so, so this is the, um, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is OSDU uh, running in this case in, uh, in uh, AWS, I mean the version that's available for, for, for testing. So what I'm going to do is uh, create a new, uh, a new project, uh, let's call it uh, OSDU ML. And so we're going to bring uh, we're going to bring uh, the, the now famous uh, TNO TNO dataset. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, in in addition to uh, uh, you know some of the basic maps, we can also connect to uh, to our ArcGIS. Sorry. Okay. And uh, here uh, we're going to let's say we're going to we're going to bring the layer like like with the with the fields. Okay, and I'm gonna focus. So I'm gonna uh, just uh, because we we don't have much time, so I'm just gonna focus on uh, on uh, on uh, one block of data here. But what we're gonna do is uh, so we have a lot of search capability here. But we're gonna we're gonna try to find uh, uh, wells that have uh, gamma, uh, rho b, uh, and dt. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna filter th those wells, and what we're gonna try to do is uh, is pre predict uh, the uh, neutron porosity. So let me let me select. I'm just gonna select uh, the, the wells around around here. Add them to my project, uh, and then um, go to the. To, to the visualization. So 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 here uh, we have. Uh, let me take this uh, this first template here. So so we have uh, we have our data. I can uh, I, I can select the wells and bring them to a, a correlation uh, correlation display. So again, you know, this is uh, this is connecting and let's organize everything. Uh, we we see uh, we see all the data. Uh, together, okay, and you see here. So I have, uh, I have the, I have the wells. So we're looking at the uh, neutron, and you see like like those two two wells here. I, th I think the, this this one and this one are, are, are missing the. Uh, well, actually, it's this one. Or oh, uh, did I forget? I think I forgot to add uh, one well to my project. Let me. Let me see. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I think I can take this one also here. Confirm and close. Okay, so let's add uh, one, one more here, and I'm going to add it to my view. Okay, there we go. And uh, just realign everything. Okay, so. Uh, so th then, next. So, so again, I'm working on very uh, few few wells, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna start by uh, labeling them. So 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 here we're gonna take the the two that are missing. The uh, uh, so I'm just gonna call it uh, missing. Uh, uh, okay, and uh, here for 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 the purpose of this, we're just gonna select the. Uh, to um, the two uh, well surrounded to uh, to uh, do our training set I'll put it in, uh, in blue let's say and uh, also 
uh, add uh, this one here. Um, the, the training training set, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll take the rest to be to be our validation. So we'll just call it validation. Okay. So so now what I'm what I'm going to do is um, so we have this um, we have this. Um, uh, uh, tools so uh, tab here and uh, and here I have this uh, the this curve pr prediction but the interesting part is the all, all of those algorithms are, are not um, not running or they're not uh, directly connected to IVAP I mean they're just services that are out there you know on different server and uh, I'm just calling some endpoints. So the first endpoint is to get the, uh, the this property panel for the data selection and uh, and the parameter. And this panel is actually uh, provided by the service uh, through a JSON uh, uh, form, I guess. And uh, and so here we have the the ability to uh, uh, select uh, select. So for for the training, I'm just going to select the the training group. Uh, we have, uh, and then just you use the default uh, logs. And, and here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna select my uh, the, the uh, input curve, so uh, gamma ray, dt, and uh, rho b. And then for the output, we'll do uh, the uh, the neutron. And I think I can uh, use, uh, uh, and for the model, so the model I'm create, I'm just gonna. Put this, and then just uh, run here. Okay. So as you as you as we run, uh, what, what's happening is the uh, we have a messaging system. So the, uh, the the machine learning workflow, I mean, is you know is sending messages. So we can uh, we can um, also click on this, and it'll. Uh, it'll uh, it'll, it'll get uh, get us an update of what the uh, what what the machine learning is doing here uh, okay this okay so so you see uh, i mean the again i selected uh, uh, just a few um, a few data sets so maybe the greatest uh, model but for the for for the sake of uh, uh, simplicity i guess and and uh, and uh, speed I'm just going to leave it like that. And then, and, uh, so what, what's, uh, what's happening now is I can, uh, I can run this uh, model and uh, predict the missing curves here. So I'm going to go back to this, uh, to this machine learning here tab, and then uh, we're going to do the propagation. So, so s similar, right? We have, uh, we have um, the, uh, data selector so I'm gonna so for the um, for the pr uh, propagation I, I'm clearly gonna select all all the um, the um, groups that I have created uh, select the also the default uh, log and then uh, basically so this is the another interesting part is I'm gonna tag I'm gonna tag my data so and we'll see and I can create uh, a log called a prediction or SDU, let's say for example, and I'm going to run this. So, so again, we get uh, the machine learning workflow is just communicating through IVAP by uh, sending messages, and we can, we can, uh, we can look, uh, and really you see it's uh, it's it's working on the log. It's probably already done, uh, but what's happening is we writing through the uh, through the well uh, DDMS, and it takes uh, OSDU a little bit of of time to uh, ingest the data back to the um, uh, Elastic Search. So, so we are just uh, really waiting for the Elastic Search, but you start to see our logs, you know, uh, uh, being uh, being ad added to uh, to OSDU. Uh, yeah, the prediction OSDU. This is the uh, th this is the log, and uh, while uh, while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna load um, another dashboard to to uh, Q Q see the 
if you see the results, so I'm going to load this one. And, uh, and so we will be able to, uh, we'll be able to show the, to show the, sorry, I'm, uh, okay. Uh, and uh, so the, the, uh, the interesting part here is, um, is I can, I can tag the data and you see the, um, you, you see the, the log that have, um, um, that have been calculated. They have this uh, prediction uh, tag here. Uh, what we also see, okay, you don't see double. I mean, they, you know, there's some uh, replication of data, uh, like the like the tops, the so some of the logs and everything. Oops, I must have done so. Here it looks uh, well. Let's pick. Uh, okay, so of course the, the the wells that we have been using for our training, you know, correlate re reasonably well. Uh, but the the uh, the other one, the, the the validation, they don't look so so good. But then that tells us we probably need to uh, uh, to to improve uh, to to improve our model uh, a little bit here. And uh, and finally, um, uh, I'm just going to show you the uh, the I guess the result uh, side by side, you know, into a, into a cor into a, a correlation view again. Now we can see we can see the uh, predicted result. Um, make everything a bit more compact here, and uh, yeah. And so you see, you, you see here again, and uh, and so the case uh, case zero seven dash zero three and dash zero one uh, have 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 the predict, uh, predicted curve here, and uh, and again you know, we can uh, we can really um, again to see the results very quickly with the, with the tool, um, but but again I just wanted to point out also in terms of the in terms of the QC is we seem to have copies of uh, of the data but you know by, by just looking at the uh, information here we'll see that the you know one uh, one set of log is the 1.00 uh, ver uh, version of the schema and the other one is the 1.1.0 but I guess that's an issue with the uh, OSDU that, that that we've been uh, that that we've been reporting that they don't take the just the latest version of the schema. They you know they they, they keep the old one and the new one. So so we you know we are using uh, our platform I guess to uh, you know to, um, to 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 help uh, to to help QC and uh, and do you know various work. Um, uh, the various work with OSDU, and again, you know, I'm not going to show everything, but we we have you know the ability to uh, show all, all sorts all, all sorts of data, of of course the the, the seismic, the, the 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 tops, the uh, uh, faults. Um, uh, we are going to release also the uh, uh, schematic, the well schematic, part of the well delivery, and so on and so forth. So kind of a wide. Uh, a wide range of capabilities.